Hey y'all, we are having fajitas tonight, chicken fajitas, and I'm using a rotisserie chicken from Sam's. This is going to be a quick and easy meal uh, because I've been busy on the computer all afternoon and working real estate stuff, so it's just going to be a quick throw it together meal, but we love it. Um, first off, I take a can of black beans and put them in a pot. And I'm going to add a half a cup of salsa. Just nice salsa. Just put that in there. Those will simmer and be ready to eat with our meal. Um, and now I'm going to get the fire under the skillet. I've already put some oil in here. so. Next will be just to take some chopped up onion, which I've already chopped up some onion and some bell pepper. And I just did them kind of, you know, big slices, not tiny chops, but bigger slices so you can see. And so I'll just put those in the pot, I mean the frying pan, and let those start simmering. And then the next thing I do is just start pulling some of this chicken off the bones. And I'll pull the skin off. I don't cook the skin. I just, um, I'll just get the meat and put it in here. So to get this going, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic in here too. Light garlic. Get a little spoon. About, about a teaspoon, so it's equal to two cloves of garlic. It'll be in there. And just let those start simmering up. And then I'm just going to take this chicken and pull it off the bone, and um, and then I'll just get back with y'all as soon as I get that done. Okay, I put the chicken in here. This is only half of the rotisserie chicken that I put in here. But I put um, the half of the breast, half of the, or one of the thighs, and one of the drumsticks in here. So you can see it makes a lot. It's more than enough for me and Bob to eat for dinner. So now I'll just uh, season it up with some salt and pepper. And um, when it starts getting a little crispy, the chicken starts getting a little crispy, I'll add some um, Worcestershire sauce and maybe a little lemon juice. Let it steam up really good. And that'll be, will be ready then. That's just about empty. And then what I do is when I go to take it up, we use these um, flat out flatbread because um, that way I can just put the chicken in there along with some salsa and sour cream or whatever and then just roll it up to eat it. We'll put some cheese in there too. So, and then have that along with the black beans with salsa and a few chips and we've got dinner. So I'll be back with you in just a little bit. So let me show you this. Um, you can see how the meat's starting to get brown and the peppers and the onions are very tender. So now what I'm gonna do is just squeeze some lemon juice over it and a little Worcestershire and you'll see some sizzling coming up. That makes it steam, just like a thing you're supposed to do. And then bring it to your 
place at the restaurants when you go to the Mexican restaurant. Sizzling like that. This is sizzling too. So now I'll show you how I'm going to assemble it. You get some more. So I've got one of my flat outs here. I'll take some of the meat and vegetables. Put them right on the on here. Let me see if I can turn this down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Put that on, on there. And I like to go ahead and put a little bit of the cool sour cream on here. Find the right spoon. A little sour cream on it. I don't want to come out of spoons. Right there on the hot meat. Then take a little bit of this is cheddar jack. It's cheddar cheese and Monterey Jack mixed together. So I'll just sprinkle a little bit of that on top of there. And then some salsa. Let me get a different spoon. Also on top of that. And this is when if you wanted to add some jalapenos or something like that, you could. Um, you would like it spicier than I like mine. So then you just roll it up like so. And I usually take a little bit of sour cream, get some off of the spoon, and put it on there like it's the glue to hold it together. So that's my fajita. And then I'll just take a slotted spoon because this is kind of juicy. Get some of these black beans right there. This is black beans and salsa mixed. And sometimes I'll mix a can of corn in there, but I didn't have a small can of corn use today but that's fine so now I like to top it that with a little bit of sour cream as well and that's it then just add some chips and we're good to go so there you go wonderful meal just in a few minutes so I'm gonna take a bite Mm. Mm. That's so good, y'all. So good. Be sure to try it.